Oh, oh, hey, I didn't see you there. I am just doing what I love, building gaming PCs. But what I love more than building gaming PCs is making money. So why don't we do both? Hey, what's up boys? So today we're going to be building gaming PCs and making money at the same time. I've been doing this for the past six or seven months, strictly learning off my income from selling gaming PCs, and I think I've gotten pretty good at it. So I went out over the past two days and I accumulated all the parts I needed for a gaming PC, and I wanna go step by step with you guys how exactly to do this and make money. So the first thing you need to do is find your first part or set of parts. The first few parts are important because they'll kind of give you a just for what the system will look like, what kind of price range it'll be in, and what kind of budget you'll have for yourself. So as I'm talking about the deals that I got, I'll actually throw them on screen, just so none of you accuse me of being a dirty liar. The first few parts I got were an FX 8120 processor, an RX 550 graphics card, eight gigs of RAM, and an MSI 970 motherboard. So I got all these parts for $70. Yes, very good deal, thank you. So I really wanna have a $450 price tag for this system, but I can't do it with how the parts are currently. So we'll have to deploy a few strategies to be able to raise our price. So one of my favorite strategies that I like to use is the sell and upgrade. And in this particular case, I used it on both our graphics card and our RAM. So I went out and I sold our RX 550 for $40, and I actually scored an RX 580 Gaming X for $70. And so that's about a $30 price difference, not including all the other stuff that we bought. But I think it'll help us uh, sell our system for significantly more while making it look much better. So in the case of our RAM, we actually started with a teal piece of Vengeance, four gigabytes, and a bare PCB stick of DDR3. And they were both just so ugly. So I could probably either sell that for $15 or I could just keep it in case I need it down the line. So what we did is actually went and picked up a 16 gigabyte kit of Vengeance from my buddy for $50, he actually sells on eBay. So that's one of my big tips for you guys, is that if you guys go on eBay and you sort by sellers near you, a lot of the times they're open to local pickup, saving you on that shipping cost. Following that, we picked up a case. So this is actually an H500i from NZXT. It's been really weird, because I picked three of these up within the past week, and for whatever reason, people just keep getting rid of them, but I really don't mind because it is my favorite case. After that, we picked up our power supply. So we actually got a 620 watt Seasonic 80 plus bronze power supply. I really enjoy this one because it doesn't have Ketchard and Mustard cables for the most part. It does on the 24 pin, but it's a really good unit. So the last things we grabbed were storage. And so I went out and I grabbed a 120 gig SSD from Fry's. <laughs> for $20. Storage is really hard to find locally, so screw it, man. And then to complement that, we got a 500 gig, two and a half inch drive from Western Digital. I got 10 of these for $10 each. So if you subtract the RX 550 we sold and the $15 in RAM that we had from the original setup, then we're left with about a $280 cost. So if you take our $450 price tag and subtract it by 280, obviously you're left with a $170 profit, which is pretty good. So now that we've talked about all the parts and all the prices, I'm gonna put the system together and we're gonna talk about some strategies for what I do when I put builds up for sale.
You can't see it. You can't see it. You can't see it. Okay, you can see it. We're back and this is the completed system. I think it turned out pretty good. I don't think we'll have any trouble getting our $450 asking price. So let's turn it on real quick, just so we can see her go. Nice, those LEDs look good. The system is a little loud, but this kind of cooler, uh, this kind of stock cooler is notorious for being a little loud, so we can live with it. Let's turn it off. So the next thing we need to do is list the system on OfferUp. So one of the most important things when you're listing your system is that you take good pictures. So on the screen now are some photos that I took just with my iPhone. So camera does not matter. The important thing is that you have good lighting and a good setting and you make the system look really good and you present it really well. All right, boys, we're back. We're loaded into OfferUp. As you can see, we have our picture in there. So the first thing we're gonna start off with is our title. So custom gaming PC computer. And so what this does is actually hit as many keywords as possible. So whether someone searches gaming PC or gaming computer, we are going to come up. And I also like to list some of the major parts. So we have our processor, graphics card, and it's always nice to mention you have an SSD. So let's hit next. Okay, our condition. So some of the parts are new, some of the parts are used, but I like to err on the side of caution and just select used. Uh, in the description, we like to mention that everything works great, what the system is good at, in this case, 1080p gaming, plug your Instagram and then all your parts, and then hit next again. Okay, so we have our $450 price in there. I don't really like to negotiate, so I'm gonna leave firm on price on, hit next again. Okay, our delivery method, make sure your location is correct. You probably don't wanna ship this, so leave that off, and then hit done. In my case, it says save because I already did this, but you're gonna wanna hit done. The process is not much different from Facebook to Craigslist. It's always nice to have your product in as many places as possible. So make sure you do that. And then the next step is to sell your system. So we're gonna do a little time travel and come back when we have a buyer. And we're back. That was my best time travel impersonation. I was pretty terrible, but I don't really care. So we had someone hit us up on OfferUp. They said, hey Jake, my brother really likes this computer. We wanna buy it. Can we come over now? And I said, sure. So I'm gonna let you guys know when they get here. They seemed really cool. They were okay with being on camera, so. Let's sell the PC. All right, boys, we're back, and we have our buyer. This is Saul. Saul, wave to the camera. Saul, how old are you? 15. 15. And what games are you gonna play? Uh, Fallout, um, Metal Gear Solid. Ooh, good choices, good choices. And this is his very sweet brother, Jonathan. What's up, what's up? <laughs> Thank you, Jonathan, for bringing him by. So what we're doing right now is kind of just walking through everything with them, making sure they know where everything is on the PC. Uh, we have their lighting program installed, so we're kind of just making sure they know how to use that. So it's important to just go through with your buyer, make sure they know where everything is, where to plug it in, where to plug their display cable in. That's a really important thing because I have a lot of people plug their display into the motherboard and then they're like, why am I not getting any signal? Make sure they know to plug it into the graphics card. So Saul just handed me the cash, but he did want to say one thing to you guys, and Saul, hold on. Make sure you're in focus. All right, Saul, what is it that you wanted to tell everyone? Subscribe to Jake Seeds on YouTube. Yeah, yeah boy. <laughs> Subscribe to Jake Seeds, boys.